Hi everybody, welcome back to One Shot. No dreams this time. Too busy for that. So, last time we got to the Glen, and we managed to find Cedric, who said he would be able to take this memory disk and uh, bring back the Profibot prototype. And he'd also be able to help us uh, fly out of here on his flying machine, but he needs some parts to fix it. Specifically a battery and some gears. Thanks to uh, Maze's sacrifice, we can get a excuse me, we can get across to the main island now. So we can start looking for those parts. We have leads on both of them, just need to find where they are. The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village evacuees should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Thanks again, Naze. Goats! I'm delighted that they survived. The land fragmentation is happening faster and faster now. But looks like the vines are slowing it down. My mommy is making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown-up yet. <sighs> we won't last long now, will we? The sun can't fix the squares. The sun can't restore the land. Grim thought. This island has more moss covering than our village did. Would have been nice to build a settlement here. Do it now, I guess. Are you okay? I want to go back home! So now then. This is the person we're looking for, but we'll talk to everybody else first. Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of us made it out alive, but we can't really go back anymore. Oh. The squares are bad news, man. Yeah, that's... We know that firsthand. These look like crab shells. Small dried fish. It's full of fish heads. Still gross. What a day. Indeed. <laughs> That's still funny to me. Hmm. Nothing's biting. A few small fish are in the bottom of this jar. What's in here, I wonder? Looks like the glen is deteriorating faster than ever now. Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. It's a fish stew. At least, I think it's fish. They look kind of like snakes. Eels, maybe? The jar is full of fireflies. Alright, this person is who we have business with. It's a blanket covered in shiny things. Still kind of sad I lost most of my stuff. Oh, you're the trader guy. Sure am. You here to trade? Because if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back in my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. I managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh. Uh. Do you have anything like. gears? Gears? Like. the metal spinny things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait. I do have this box thing that you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box. Yeah. I bet there's lots of little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Aww. 
Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Ah, thank you. A wind-up music box. By the way, if you ever see a big guy with goggles and a cool helmet, tell him the trader in the Glen said hi. Also ask him if he has any more music boxes for trading. Will do. Alright, that's hopefully one thing crossed off the list, so let's go find the research station and look for a battery. Phosphor trees. Some vines just grew around this bridge. Almost as if it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah. Oops. Would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? What is a flying machine? Never mind. Unhelpful. Hello, person. The research station is currently experiencing some technical difficulties. I can tell. Even the bridge on the way here was... Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No. Oh, carry on then. By the way, do you know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? I do not. Alright. Do you know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? Have you checked the power room? It's a good idea. Anomalies are increasing. Do you know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? I have a battery integrated into my system. It cannot be used to power other things. Ah. Well, we wouldn't have taken that out. I don't think. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. Would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's... kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is. But any sort of large machinery would require a high-capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. Oh, right. I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the Barrens, didn't we, Cadenza? If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh! Wait. But if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe Cadenza and I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. Well, I mean, we gotta. We have to get to the refuge, and there's no other way, so... I guess we have no choice but to take this, Cadenza. <sighs> A working rechargeable battery. We depowered it. A robot without power. Yep. Alright. Let's get these back to Cedric. Y'all have anything new to say? We're just about done here, so let us know when you want to go back to the ruins. Okay. Did you find any... Any... What were you looking for again? Gears? Gears! Did you find any of those? No, but... I found this music box, though. Ooh! I appreciate the enthusiasm, Lula. Yo, Cedric, I got some hot inventory items.
We found a music box. It should have gears in it, right? I assume so, but... This looks like one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love traveling this world, despite... Well... Ah, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in there are compatible with the engine. Although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh. I'm sorry. It's fine. We still need a battery to get this engine running. Please do what you must to find one. And don't forget to stay hydrated. We found a battery. Oh, nice! I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. I feel bad for taking it. Ah. We can always just give it back later. Alright. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around some of these parts. And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck, and... Ah. Don't worry. I am making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Brodo back first. And then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she... look like? This is going to sound strange, but... She is a fox. Oh. I... do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue? The memories are still really blurry, though. I see. <sighs> it's just... hard. You know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream. But then I got so caught up with... And I just... Kinda... Forget. I forget that everything here is supposed to be... Not real. And then... I remember. And then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but... Knowing that none of it mattered in the first place. Am I just trapped here for no reason? Proto also told me to not ask anyone in the world about this. Saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well... I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. <sighs> I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but... Please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is, for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. 
Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So, what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You're making it sound like... your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But... how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's... um... not really what happened. So... what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... <sighs> with... Alright, alright. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being built to greet the messiah of the old world. I was, um, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, you know of it at least, then. Alright. Here we go. My father, myself, the other two. None of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. <sighs> In the years leading up to the Calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophetbot, the prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, it also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to meet the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah. Father caught onto the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code kind of just ended up floating in the void indefinitely waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their own hardware. Cadenza? Yeah. The operator, Cadenza, would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So... Cadenza was the living person you needed to borrow? No. That... would be you. But why me? 
I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes, if you are ready. Alright. I understand if you are upset. Or hungry. The commentator's tummy is rumbling. They need to eat. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... <sighs> the world means a lot to him, you know? So, how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah. Well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try and take a sippy of water. Hydration's important. Oh, I should probably tell Calamus and Alula where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news! The boat is gone! What? It's the squares! It looks like they're headed in this direction. That's... fast. Calamus, right? Yeah? How... bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then, it is a priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But what about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too, if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares, you'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city?! If you wish. Oh yeah! Alright. I will be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. Alright then. This is a bad idea. Nothing good is gonna come of this. I just know it. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. Alright. was the coolest thing I have ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Reactions from first timers are always delightful to watch. Oh. Uh. Hey, Kenenza? That was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch it at least, right? Uh-huh, it was a cutscene and everything. And... Cedric? Yeah? Thanks. What for? Flying! Oh, um... You're... Welcome? And... For answering my questions back there, too. And... For telling me more about the world machine. I'm just... Really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So, I'll help you the best that I can. And, even if it's all just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly, I got to see the ocean, and I got to meet a lot of nice people. 
people like you. And prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you're taking it so well, Nico. And I'm glad that we have met as well. Despite the circumstances. Ah, speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings, too. That's true. Those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, do you remember what to do to get to the surface? I remember having to fix an elevator button! Alright, you should attend to that then. Let's meet up here in an hour, okay? Got it! Alright, now let me just... No! Oh. They're trapped on the island. Calamus. Alula. They're... We don't have much time left. Nico, change of plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted, targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright. What about you, though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. Hey, Cadenza? Let's do our best. Yeah. I don't think it's safe to use this again, Cadenza. That's all we can do, really, is our best. In one shot, as well as in life. These squares are just everywhere. Are we gonna be able to get to a bed? Hmm. I better split off the recording here. I'll see you- I'll see you guys next time. Take care!